I can consistently enough, week after week after week after week, the games on, the games come September, the ones that you'll be involved in are the important ones that make a difference. And I think for me, that's been the kind of model of success that I've molded my career on as a player. Now, I've worked with some really good sports psychologists and sports psychiatrists, and I've, I've kind of got that from them, and I've kind of followed that through into my coaching mantra, and I'm, and I'm really big on, 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 on kind of expressing that. And again, um, it's just about having the openness to be able to say yes, um, there is an issue there, and again, it's becoming more and more apparent. I think there's a lot more people, and I think it's good for all the sports and in, in, in some of the players that are coming out and saying that there's mental health issues because it's normally the ones that people will look at and say oh, they they wouldn't bother by the mental health side of it. And I could create something um, not only. Um, in the short term, but in the long term as well. Um, and it's something that I spoke about uh, with the board. I'm going to do in the next stage of my life. And um, an opportunity came about from York Knights, and I became a uh, player coach there. And I had two, two and a half years. Division, second division and the first division with them before moving into the Scottish Premier League. We were there for six months, we saw, just before uh, administration hit. It's going to sign as a player, you know. Are you a player? Are you a coach? What, what kind of mindset do you need to make the switch between being a, a Carlisle legend and then leading a group of lads on the pitch at uh, Derwent Park or Borough Park? <laughs> I think, obviously, um, with being sort of captain of, uh, of the club for the last five years, um, I think, obviously, you sort of take on a bit more of a, a responsibility and all sort of way to the dressing room, off the pitch, on the pitch, everything like that, um, having a relationship with sort of the hierarchy of the clubs. So again, um, I felt like this was the, the right time for me to step into the next uh, stage of my career. Uh, people ask me, you know, why I became a coach and I became a coach because I love the sport and it's all I've ever done. But I, I guarantee if you asked any other player that's in the you know, mid-30s that are about to retire what they want to do, They'll say they want a coach. Very close to obviously um, coming out the playing side of it, so um, I would like to think that the strengths are still being able to relate to the players, relate to what's going to bring them success, how they wanted things done, exactly how I wanted things done.